All right, welcome back to SOS and Stats and Badass. Everyone says I look like a character from ZZ Top, so I figured why not? Let's play some ZZ Top. Uh, I'm going to be working on this uh, wrecking bar. The uh, video I was doing is a uh, podcast. Uh, keep your crowbar handy. I was discussing the purpose of one of these. I'm going to get into that. We're going to customize this one, and I'm going to put it in my inventory of tools. All right, let me pull you over here. You guys might remember World War Z, where Brad Pitt pops the zombie in the head with the crowbar, and then it gets stuck in its skull, and he can't remove it, and he's getting attacked by another zombie, and he's freaking out, and he had to reach all the way up to yank it out. Well, you know, it's it's in this direction you want to hit. That's where all your kinetic energy from a crowbar, a wrecking bar, all comes from the top, and these... These little tools, the smaller ones are a little bit better for weight-wise. A uh, giant crowbar is going to be very heavy to carry around with you all the time. I'm going to show you how to customize one to get it to be a little bit more effective. Um, if you need it in a fight, if you need it to um, pry something open. But uh, you can bust open locks. You can uh, bust open doors. There's a lot of different things. So if you're a scouter and you're scouting and you're on that crew scouting... And you're gathering up what people need to bring back home. Uh, you're going to want something like this in SHTF to come with you. Or you're not getting any of that stuff open like you expected. So don't want to go popping shotgun rounds off or they're going to come find you, right? Okay. Uh, first off, the thing is you can use... You can use stripper on this. And uh, this is a spray type. You can, uh, you know, remove your sticker, obviously. Made, made in America, made in USA. Let me get my sticker off. Let's get yourself a razor. And run it down. And you can take your sticker off. Now, you get your sticker out of the way. Now, you can put it in your inventory like that. But, you want it to be crazy. You could use stripper, strip all this blue color off. It'll come right off and just wipe it off. That's one thing you could do. Then you could, uh, if, you're a, if you're a chick or a lady, you could paint it pink. <laughs> Options. You could go tactical black. I don't have any OD green, but uh, you could, this is survivor cord. This has your... Uh, uh, has all your different types of cordage in it. Survivor cord, it's got snare wire, it's got fishing line, fire cord. You could wrap it in that. Or, like me, I'm not going to waste any time and I'm going to get right to it. And I'm going to wrap it in, this is just standard fire cord and it's orange. And I'm going to show you how to wrap one of these. So what you want to do, first off, so bring it like this, okay? How far you're gonna go? Now you could do two sections. You could just do let me pull you over here so you see a little bit. There you go. You could do two sections here and here, or like here and here, or you could do one. And one would be a little bit better for for grabbing. But if you do two, you're gonna wanna let's do two. So that way I can show you one. Up like this bring yourself into a loop I, I don't know how many inches that is you can make it as long as you want to about one hand right there like that bring this out the bottom and then you're gonna come up you've got it just like this just go put this on the inside there you go just like that now I'm gonna show you how to wrap paracord for those of you that don't know how to do it there's people that don't know how to do it, so just bear with me, folks. Don't get angry. Then you could put uh, you could put some glue on this on the inside so it's not sliding. But once you get it tight, it's not going to slide anyway. You got to pull real hard. Now I got my thumb on it, and I'm pulling just like this. I used to do this stuff all the time. I used to wrap everything all the... You, know, you got a knife. It needs to get wrapped. 
but this is this is how you do it it makes it look very professional uh, I don't care about the bright colors at the moment this you know this isn't SHTF right now and I'm doing I'm doing the bright color I want to be able to see this when I'm working you guys know I'm doing the um, the BOT build the bug out trailer and I've got that coming up and I'm going to be using this for a lot of the maintenance in that video some stuff's going to be required see I just keep twisting 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 I wanted to be able to show a little bit of the color to it it will wear your hand down doing this if you need to move, just try and keep your keep your hand on there. Grab it again, pull tight. Just keep going. And uh, this fire cord you can pick up at uh, at Walmart. This is that uh, standard stuff they sell in the uh, fire cord's cool. You got that one strand that lights on fire. And if you're going to melt the ends, just make sure you cut the fire cord back a little bit so you can melt the end of your paracord so it's not straggly and all over the place. That should be enough. Right. You don't have to pull it in too far. Let's just cut this off. Let's see. I kind of want to pull it in a little bit. Right about here. That worked. I'm trying to decide where I wanted to cut it at. I didn't want to cut it too far back. Just bring this down. This is what I was telling you. Take that red fire cord there. There's your fire cord. Bring it out a little bit. Pull some of it out. That's your fire cord. Just cut it back. And then bring the rest of it forward. cut off some of these extra strands I used to do a lot of paracording I used to sell uh, paracord brace bracelets believe it or not hang on a sec okay here we go before I like this make sure your fire cord is far away from you <laughs> uh, the pink lighter no one steals the pink lighter right I've always got it around there we go I couldn't find my black one sippy took my black one She's using it for fireworks or something. I don't know why she couldn't take the pink one. She tacked the cool, I guess. Tacked the cool. All right, now I've got that done. You're gonna take this loop here. See that little loop? Real simple. Let me put that where you can see it. You're just gonna take this and slide it in there. Bring that up. And then, uh, you want a pair of pliers that'll grip. I usually use something like this because it grips better. Bring this up. Pull. Pry it into something. See, it's, it's gripping it now. Ah. All right. Couldn't get it all the way in there, but it's in there enough. I'll just have to do this again. Let me cut it here. cut it back again I show I show everything on here I'm not you know, I'm not one of those people that edits everything out and you guys think it went so fracking smoothly and you guys know better than that <laughs> you guys know better no way it went that smoothly
burn it back as much as I can. Now you gotta do the same thing down here. I'm not gonna bore you with that. Let me go ahead and get this cut off. And there you have it. Looking pretty cool. And you have a much better chance of uh, hitting something and not damaging your, your hand. But you know, you wouldn't have to have gloves at this point. I like the divider because it gives you a place like a hand stop. You kind of know where you're gonna be when you're swinging and that's where you want to be when you swing all your kinetic energy is up here it's kind of like a golf club you know golf club has a little bit more effective kinetic energy than than a ball bat i've said a million times but um same with the crowbar if you grab down here at the end like this and you're hitting right here you're going to have a lot better chance of taking something down with that but there you go i hope i just gave a lot of you ideas and you get yourself a crowbar and now you've got something for scouting. But somebody out there, if you guys do one in like camo or some kind of guerrilla warfare type uh, style, uh, send me a pic so I can see what it looks like. I like to check it out. All right. You watch this, Wes? I'm Sasser and Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Rainbows and unicorns. Take it easy.